Good day YouTube. Warbles on a lot here. This is Kerry the Kung Fu Kangaroo and she's been telling me about a bit of a plan that the wildlife has come up with which she'd like me to put to the, uh, the global population regarding a way to come up with a genetically engineered peaceful strain of Yankwees. The people who live in what is currently the excited states of Norte Armed Americano. Now the story, according to Kerry of the Kung Fu Kangaroo Clan, is that we should pay attention to what happened in Paraguay. You see, she says that once upon a time, Paraguay, which was settled by Prussians and Austrians and had a very, very proud Christian military tradition, decided that their national honour required them to declare war on Brazil and Bolivia and Argentina. Simultaneously, that's what the Paraguayans did. Now, only Paraguayan white men were allowed to vote. And the war against the three surrounding gigantic neighbours was democratically embarked on and had vast popular support. And it continued until 85% of the Paraguayan males between the ages of 15 and 60 was safely turned into compost and all their DNA to make more violently stupid assholes had been turned into compost. And you know what? According to Kerry the Kung Fu Kangaroo, and her daughter Kim confirms this, as does Fruitcake the Swamp Wallaby. Since Paraguay managed to compost all their genetic material to make a violent dickhead, they have not actually declared war on anybody ever since. It's been quite a peaceful little place. So the theory is the United Nations should vote to apply genetic bottleneck therapy to genetically engineer a strain of peaceful Americans. And the idea is that one Uzi submachine gun or one Ingram submachine gun with 1,000 rounds of ammunition should be posted or airdropped, delivered by courier perhaps, to every person in every American household. So that they've all got the ability, if they wish to, if they choose to, to quote, pick up and carry a death machine just in case sometime later in the day they should develop the desire, the wish, the volition to kill somebody else. And apparently, according to uh, Kerry, the Kung Fu Kangaroo, as well as the Swamp Wallaby, Fruit Loop and Kerry's daughter Kim, the theory is that within about three months all of the genetic material to construct a violently dangerous Norte Americano brain will be safely composting because the only people in what's left of America still surviving will be those who, like the surviving Paraguayans, are the ones who are smart enough not to pick up or want to carry a gun just in case. The intelligent, pacifist, peaceful, reasonable individuals will live to survive and breed. And all the paranoid dingbats will be dead. At least that's how the kangaroos and the swamp wallabies see the matter. So maybe the NRA, the nuts run amok, maybe they should be just given enough rope and they'll hang themselves. Or more likely, shoot themselves. Because the t statistics show that half the gun deaths are suicides 
a third of the gun deaths are accidents, only one-sixth are homicides, and only 2.2% of all gun deaths are justifiable homicides. So, it's pretty obvious, isn't it, Kim? The answer is to let them have as many guns as they want and as many bullets as they want. And after they've gone through the genetic bottleneck, there will be a peaceful strain left where Norte Armed Americano used to be. There you have it, the Paraguayan plan, hatched by the marsupials, to make America a peaceful place. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. Ciao.